about how you know their, their offense, you might be chasing players around the perimeter a little bit. You uh, you got your legs under you. You ready to run? Yeah, around <laughs> yeah. We've been talking about it for the last few days, and um, we've been working on it with our practice players. So I'm getting ready. I'll be ready by tomorrow. Coach. Utah, obviously, this is, this is a premier matchup, and Coach said, hey, they might be a little ahead of schedule. Everybody knew they were going to put together a good program, but not sure they would be a one-loss team coming in this matchup. Is this a program you you, you would play face and say, hey, they're going to be they're, they're going to be good, they're getting better, they're going to be up, up with us uh, among the Pac-12 elite soon? Yeah, I mean, Coach has definitely been talking about them coming up, so I think we're used to, um, I mean, we came up too, I think, so I think we know them well and what they can do, so we're definitely not going to take this game lightly, and I'm really excited to play them and see what everyone's talking about. About Satu, she's obviously been on quite a run lately, and just in terms of her getting used to playing American competition, playing with this team over the, what have you seen from her in year two, maybe over her past couple of years, how she's evolved? Uh, huge confidence boost, I think. I think last year she's still a little timid. I know we were talking about her not knowing exactly where she was playing. She's kind of 4-3 player, but now I think she's just being way more aggressive with the ball. and. Like you said about like the American play, she definitely is always like, dang, we don't do this in Europe. Like, what is this? And so, so I think she's learning the American way, and she's doing great. I'm so proud of her, and hopefully she just keeps going up. With the emergence of her and Erin Bully, you know, they're dangerous on offense. How much does that open up the game for you and Sabrina? Um, I think a lot. People are going to have to respect all the players that are on the court now. I mean, we have great shooters, great drivers, great all-around players. So Coach always says we're going to have to pick who they want to guard, who they want to double team. And I think we're always going to find the hot hand and get someone open for the, for the goal. We talked to Coach about the uh, attendance recently and how they've been breaking some records. What's it like for you guys in the locker room to just have this overwhelming number of fans in there? It's so fun. We talk about it a lot, actually. It's great to see from our freshman year, I have people coming up to me like, we used to be able to sit courtside, come walk in, now they're kicking us out of our seats and stuff. So just having the fan base behind us is great. It's really fun and hope we get more and more people. Does it affect you on the court? I mean, does it help you? Is it an edge? Um, I know we love it. Um, the more fans we get, the better I think we play. And, the more hype we are for it. We definitely go to other places and we're like, wow. <laughs> it kind of is a downer on us. But our fans are great, and I'm really happy. What's it going to be like to play that you know, real, real test for the first time in the Pac-12? I mean, obviously, competition is stacked from top to bottom. But to have that ranking back in this matchup, how does that feel? I'm super excited for it. I know um, they have really good players. Like you guys were saying, we're going to have to chase them around. So it's going to be a great test on offense and defense. So I'm really excited. Did the win over Stanford kind of change the way that you approach this game, the Utah winners? Um, we know they're doing really well in conference, and we're definitely paying attention to that game. So I think we're going to be even more excited now to come on and play and win this game, hopefully.